Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your November 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, will they come back? So we're going to take a look at your ex, someone that you were dealing with. We're going to see what caused the separation between you and your person, if this person will come back. Uh, what will happen if this person did come back? What else do you guys need to know? Look out for. Apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the rules if you switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, Capricorn people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about um, Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. The person that Capricorn was dealing with, will this person come back? What caused the separation between Capricorn and their person for November 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. For Capricorn. That's too many. For Capricorn. Alright, you got the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. This person played a lot of mo emotional games here with you. Yeah, I also feel like this person, you know, was making you feel jealous. Maybe they were comparing you with other people. Maybe they were flirting with other people, charming other people's socks off. But I feel like this person was definitely playing a lot of games here. Yeah. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like the situation was like, I feel like you were really trying to get this person's attention. You were really trying to convince this person to choose you here. And I feel like you couldn't do that. You realize that it was only up to this person whether they just decided whether they want that or not, you know, uh, because I do feel like this person was definitely, I don't feel like this person was really committed to you. I feel like this person, if anything, I feel like this person was testing you for some reason. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person kept a lot of secrets here. I do feel like they're definitely yearning for you here. They're definitely missing you in a way. They definitely want you to come back, but I feel like this is not a very honest individual. I do feel like this person tends to lie a lot here, and I feel like this person is really, really, really deceptive. This person tends to be, um, you know, a master gaslighter here, okay? And very mean, very mean-spirited. I feel like this person says a lot of mean things here, Capricorn, okay? Tell me the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cherries, Energy, the King of Swords here, and the Justice card. Mm, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that if this person was dealing, you know, was, you know, talking to other people, dealing, yeah, it seems like this person might be committed elsewhere here, or that this person's dealing with a karmic here. I mean, whoever this is, I feel like this person might not be having a great time. Uh, maybe this person is. Like, maybe this person's sick. Yeah, maybe this person's sick in the head. But, you know, I do feel like uh, your person, Capricorn, is definitely in a very volatile situation here, a very toxic situation. Not only does your person do this, but the other person is doing the same exact same thing as your person. So I feel like the, in, when it comes to the situation, I do feel like it's a bit nutty. Yeah, it's a bit nutty here. So the Three of Wands, the Three of Wands the four of cups the moon and the chariot here i do feel like over time what happened here was this person's intentions was exposed and yeah this person was jeff definitely messing around being non-committal here very in and out you know i feel like this person got bored very easily here i feel like they did find somebody else and now it, they find them, they, 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 I, you know, I do feel like it's a, a situation they're kind of like meant for each other here because I feel like they're both nuts. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. They're both nuts. I do feel like that's, they also like to do drugs here too, uh, uh, Capricorn. Tell me about the Five of Swords here. We have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Cups here. Well, I feel like you fell in, I feel like you really did truly love this person, but I feel like this person was emotionally not really invested into you. Yeah, they, the emotions that they showed was just really kind of a bit off. 
yeah, a bit off here. What will happen if Capricorn reconnected with this individual? What else does Capricorn need to know? What that for work on for November 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Another page of wands in the tower, Aries, Scorpio, energy, the star card here in the six of cups. And we have the wheel of fortune and the queen of swords. Um, I do feel like this person's going to miss you here. You know, I do feel like, you know, it might be hitting this per person really hard that they found a safe place here with you because they're definitely not in a very safe place with somebody else at this time here. I do feel like there's no emotional connection. There's more of a physical connection here. They might be realizing that, you know what? Um, Capricorn is my soulmate here. Here's the thing. I do feel like this person does have issues. I do feel like this person could have narcissistic tendencies here, but this person needs to get some help. Yeah, this person needs to get some help in order for this connection to work here because I feel like this person will continue to do the same thing again. The um, star card and the six of cups. I mean, this could be you healing from this situation here, moving on. Yeah, learning your lessons here, you know, clearing out this karma that you've taken on from this individual here, okay? You're realizing that if this person, if you do reconnect with this person, they do feel like there's going to be a lot of drama here. There's going to be a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting here. And it's so interesting because I feel like a parent might also get involved to fight your person's battles here. So this is not really a great thing because whatever happens between you and your person is between you and your person. You know, not for someone else to step in and save them and rescue them. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's not really grown up. I feel like this is a person that's in their 30s and 40s and 50s and their mommy and daddy still needs to rescue them when they get in trouble. Yeah. So I feel like this person doesn't really know how to fight their own battles here. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Four of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords here and the Four of Swords. So what's happening? I feel like you're waiting for the right... Yeah, you're just kind of like finding stability, happiness. You're trusting the universe here. You're trusting the divine regarding your process here. So I feel like you're moving on. Yeah, you're moving on. You're closing the door on this punk here that you've been dealing with. Okay, you know, nothing that this person can say or do will change your mind about, you know, keeping the door closed on this person here, you know, so I feel like you're just going to continue moving forward and just focusing on yourself here. And, you know, to be quite honest here, Capricorn, I feel like you don't care how much this person is suffering. You don't care how much this person is, uh, you know, missing you. You're just really focused on you. Uh, yeah, I just feel like you just don't want to be messed around, toyed around with, uh, and, and, and being used like that, you know? Uh, basically taking you for granted here, uh, Capricorn, okay? So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.